Our next topic is the radiation pattern. The radiation or antenna pattern describes the relative strength of the radiated field in various directions from the antenna at a constant distance. The radiation pattern is a reception pattern as well. Since it also describes the receiving properties of the antenna, the radiation pattern is three-dimensional. But usually, the measured radiation patterns are two-dimensional slice of the three-dimensional pattern in the horizontal or vertical planes. These pattern measurements are presented in either a rectangular or a polar format. The figure here shows a rectangular plot presentation of a typical 10-element Yagi. Polar coordinate system are used almost universally. In the polar coordinate graph, points are located by projection along a rotating axis that is radius to an intersection with one of several concentric circles. Now next comes the polar plot of the same 10 element Yagi antenna. Polar coordinate systems may be divided generally in two classes, that is linear and logarithmic. In the linear coordinate system, the concentric circles are equally spaced and are graduated. Such a grid may be used to prepare a linear plot of the power contained in a signal. For ease of comparison, the equally spaced concentric circles may be replaced with appropriately placed circles representing the decibel response referenced to zero decibel at the outer edge of the plot. In this kind of plot, the minor lobes are suppressed. Lobes with peaks more than 15 decibel or so below the main lobe disappear because of their small size. The grid enhances plots in which the antenna has a high directivity and small minor lobes. The voltage of the signal rather than the power can also be plotted on a linear coordinate system. In this case too, the directivity is enhanced and the minor lobes suppressed but not in the same degree as in the linear power grid. In the logarithmic polar coordinate system, the concentric grid lines are spaced periodically according to the logarithm of the voltage in the signal. Different values may be used for the logarithmic constant of periodicity and this choice will have an effect on the appearance of the plotted pattern. Generally, the zero decibel reference for the outer edge of the chart is used. With this type of grid, lobes that are 30 or 40 decibel below, the main lobe are still distinguishable. The spacing between points at 0 decibel and at minus 3 decibel is greater than the spacing between minus 20 decibel and minus 23 decibel, which is greater than the spacing between minus 50 decibel and minus 53 decibel. The spacing thus corresponds to the relative significance of such changes in the antenna performance. The modified logarithmic scale emphasizes the shape of the major beam while compressing very low level that is greater than 30 decibels side lobes towards the center of the pattern. There are two kinds of radiation pattern that is absolute and relative. Absolute radiation patterns are presented in absolute units of field strength or power. Relative radiation patterns are referred in relative units of field strength or power. Most radiation pattern measurements are relative to the isotropic antenna and then the gain transfer method is then used to establish the absolute gain of the antenna. The radiation pattern in the region close to the antenna is not the same as the pattern at large distance. The term near field refers to the field pattern that exists close to the antenna while the term far field refers to the field pattern at the large distances. The far field is also called the radiation field and is what is most commonly of interest. Ordinarily, it is the radiated power that is of interest and so antenna patterns are usually measured in the far field region. For pattern measurement, it is important to choose a distance sufficiently large to be in the far field well out of the near field. The minimum permissible distance depends on the dimensions of the antenna in relation to the wavelength. The accepted formula for this distance is R minimum is equal to 2d square divided by lambda, where R minimum is the minimum distance from the antenna 
D is the largest dimension of the antenna and lambda is the wavelength. Hope you all understood. Meet you in the next topic. If you have any queries, please get in touch with us by typing your comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe to our videos. So what are you waiting for? Join us for the course and do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Also, if you like our videos, don't forget to hit the like button and share our videos.